It's a fact that kids don't get outside as much as they did in past generations. Studies also show that time in nature can reduce anxiety and enhance focus. Since 2009, Creatures of Habitat has been creating opportunities for grade 6 students on the Saanich Peninsula to learn more about the place in which they live and their role in protecting it. Through interactive theatre, ecological restoration of a local green space, the beautiful Todd Inlet. And hands-on learning activities exploring personal and planetary health. The program is delivered to an average of 600 students a year by a strong team of volunteers, community groups, and local government organizations under the leadership of the Peninsula Streams Society. The thing about Creatures of Habitat is that it's a chance for kids to get connected to the place that they live, to become aware of the local ecosystem, and to find ways to be part of the solution to keeping things healthy. And this is a place that they want to protect. This is awesome! The activities that the students take part in uh, at Creatures of Habitat um, helps to give them uh, a sense of accomplishment. We give them real tools, we uh, give them training, we give them uh, supervision, we work alongside of them, and at the end of the day, the ecological restoration work that they do helps to create a more resilient, a more diverse ecosystem. In the long run, that means uh, a healthier environment, uh, a healthier world for everybody. That's why Creatures of Habitat helps kids connect with their local parks and playgrounds. We're encouraging them to learn about uh, resource management in, at a level they can understand and we really want them to be asking questions and also starting to take a leadership role. So we're taking all of the ivy and blackberries out of the park to let more of the animals for sunlight to grow. And the native plants they yeah. can grow. Cleaning it out and getting rid of all the garbage and all that. There, we saved three vanilla plants, they're still alive. Yeah, okay. Be careful, there's one right there too. Yeah, I'm gonna try and clear right around it. You feel really good once you cleared it out. You, you feel like, oh yeah, I've really helped the environment and it just, you feel good inside when you're done. And the program is working. Some of the ecosystems undertaken by the students are now free of invasive species and now require only minimal maintenance, which allows schools to take on bigger challenges. Volunteers contribute an additional layer of knowledge and experience. There was so much here. Uh, historically, there was lingcod, there was salmon. University and college students. You guys are going to find a lot of cement here. Elders and community organizers. So go and find yourself a blackberry. All bring diverse experience and perspective that makes for a richer experience and builds community. Sure that that we're doing something positive to help the environment. While many volunteers return year after year. Program organizers are always on the lookout for more to maintain important ratios of student to team leaders. Each year, Creatures of Habitat seeks donations from the community. Some organizations donate supplies such as tools and gloves, while others invest in the coordination it takes to make the experience possible. By giving young people the tools and solutions to take action for a healthier future in a fun and challenging way, Creatures of Habitat is making a visible difference in our parks and green spaces. We're all Creatures of Habitat. Please join us in building a better future for our community.